Chevy. It's Corona time. Yeah, that's right. I opened up the blog with that. That's so annoying. It's Corona time. I hear that one more time. It's Corona time. Someone's getting a feeding. <laughs> I'll protect you, Dad. I'll protect you. Unless it's mom, then I'll protect her. <laughs> so, uh, today when we're filming this, we're sort of in the height of the fears before the coronavirus is coming to uh, our region. I guess I gotta be careful about what I say. I shouldn't say it because apparently they're demonetizing a lot of videos that talk about it. Really? So don't, don't demonetize me, YouTube, please. And if there's an odd skip right there, that's because I said the C virus word and I had the to edit it out. The beer virus. The beer the virus. Beer yeah, so if there's a bunch of like odd skips, then you'll know I had to edit that out so that they could still monetize it. Yeah, some people, if, if you talk about it, they'll demonetize it. But anyways, we're not going to talk about the virus itself. We're going to talk about <laughs> what we did. <laughs> so we laughed at everybody who went and stocked up their fridges and freezers. And we laughed at everybody who went out and bought toilet paper. And then we went out and stocked our fridge and freezer. We doomsday prepped. It's true. Yeah. Well, just in case they shut stuff down. We're not like yeah. in a state of panic. It's just... We gotta have food to eat and supplies if things do get shut down. Mm -hmm. It won't stop us from leaving our homes, but there won't be many places to go. And it was sort of a bunch of other things added up. We haven't had much food in the house for a while, because usually I'm on the road and I have food for myself in the truck, and that's all depleted right now. And Britt's at home by, by herself a lot, or she has some guests over sometimes. Or Either way, the, the groceries here were pretty low as well. She didn't have We didn't have much groceries here, so we had to stock up and we figured you know what they're shutting down our schools for three weeks here now uh they've shut down you know the u.s has shut down the border with europe uh italy has shut down its borders with everything with the world uh and uh, who knows by the time you watch this it might have gotten better blown over it might have gotten a lot worse who knows these videos are about a week behind so uh this was last weekend when i'm filming this for the blowover. yeah we're hoping it'll just blow over but just in case if they do end up closing the border with the u.s a lot of our supply chains come from the U.S. and uh, it could really disrupt the markets uh, for food and uh, the grocery stores. And you know, if it, if it gets really bad, they might have to shut down these places. The businesses might shut down for the safety of their employees. And then where are we gonna get food, right? So we just prepped a little bit. I mean, we got just food for two weeks, pretty much. Food, two, three weeks. Weeks. I was gonna say, I don't think I could eat this much in just two weeks. If I was home every day, yeah. Yeah, if you were home every day, obviously this is gonna last me a very long time. But. Yeah, so we got all non perishables and stuff that won't go bad. And we got the dog food. We doubled up on their dog food just in case the supply chains, because the dog food does come from the US, I believe. I think it says on the bag it's made in the US. I think so. And if they shut down the borders for three weeks or a month or whatever, you know, our dog food supply chain gets cut off. So we got that. And pizza pops. And we got pizza. That was my idea. Thank you that very was, much. That was his idea. I had a part to play in this. So it's a little bit of mad. Walmart was insane. All the toilet paper was gone. Obviously. Because that's the first thing you go to. Toilet paper aisle, right? Obviously. <laughs> no, we didn't need toilet paper. We, we had enough here at home. We don't need to have... Like we're not gonna eat toilet paper. The thing is if, if everything shuts down and the trade network shut down for just a few weeks till everything blows over, you don't need toilet paper, you need food. So we got lots of water, we got lots of food. We'll be prepared. At least, at least we'll be able to eat. We got Wiener's medication for his heart. Oh yeah. He didn't be. get my medication, but hopefully things don't shut down and I can get it <laughs> at the beginning of next week or else. Good luck, Josh. <laughs> We made sure the dog's medication was fully stocked. Her oh. medication, meh. He's more important to me than me. Look at his tail starts wagging. Right, wiener. Thank you. Very, very important. I'm kind of a big deal. Kind of a big deal. Some circles. You know, the world's ending. You know this? And it wasn't even our fault this time. So we all know where this came from. Not pointing any fingers. Definitely wouldn't point any fingers out east or anything, but. It's Corona time. 
Right, Chevy? Get you lots of dog food, man. You're good to go. So that's what we did today. That, that was our day. I'm gonna help her put some stuff away. By helping her, I'm gonna watch her while I drink a Pepsi. That wasn't all we did today. I worked. Oh yeah, you worked a, uh, a day for the yeah. day. I sat well, at home and did nothing. Some of the day. While there was work to do. So what did we all get? This is the only kind of Kleenex that was left in these tiny little things. Got a couple of those. Uh, there was no hand sanitizer left. Good thing I got some in the truck. Got lots of soap here at home to wash our hands with. Um, really, I think everything's gonna be just fine, but I don't wanna be that guy that said, oh, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, and then suddenly it's not fine, and you're like, shoot. And I running, got no food. yeah, I got no food. And then you're running to your neighbors who actually did prepare, and they don't want to share with you because they need it for their family, right? That's, you don't need to go crazy, but get a few things. We went a little crazy, but we needed to do our shopping anyways, and we would have tomorrow. So we just Why jumped not? the gun by a day and a couple extra things. This is our regular grocery trip, just with an extra week or two of stuff added in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So about that Pepsi. The world's ending, I am going to have my sugar in a can. Or is it called cancer in a can? I don't know, one of those two. No, cancer in a can, that's diet Pepsi. This is just diabetes in a can. We're dying, we're dying fat and happy. Yeah, we're all dying anyway. That's what the media is telling us, right? May as well go out happy on a sugar high. What do you think, Frankie? What do you think? I think those guys are nuts. Hey, guys, stop making out. It's weird. Brothers. That, that made it even weirder. Out my blood, my adoption. Hey, hey. Don't make me get down there. <laughs> you guys fight like girls. No, we don't. No, we don't get them. I'll get him. Fight like a man. You fight like a girl. You fight, you fight like a girl. Fight your face. Fight your face. How's that feel, little girly? How's that feel? Whoa! This is all they do. All day. Whining like a little girl. Oh, little baby. Yeah, Diesel always gets so offended and mad. I know. He knows everything you're saying to him at all times. Yeah. I am not a little wuss. I am not a wuss. I am not a wuss. I'll beat my brother up. No, we don't get that. Body slam him. Body slam. Yeah, I'm gonna body slam you again. I'm gonna pin you down. Pin you down like the walk, man. Bite your ears. Shut up, he just enjoys it. What do you do when you buy a lot of food? You eat the food. Barbecue steaks today. Mm-hmm. Triple A Angus. Only the good stuff. Wearing my reflective jacket so that all the neighbors see me barbecuing. The neighbors that we don't have. So if they do see me barbecuing, that means they're on my property. And they're trespassing. And they're here to steal our toilet paper. <laughs> that whole side is just for you, buddy. Oh yeah. So Brett's apparently taking the thick one. I like it bloodier than he does. Looks bloody. But I'm gonna give him an end of mine. Well, we'll see. I want him to get. Has it got some moo left in it? Yeah, it's pretty darn good, actually. Got some moo in it. Right on. It smells so good. Here oh, you yeah. go, sir. Thank you. Yes. I don't call him sir, just for the record. First barbecue of 2020, Diesel. Very nice. Very, very nice. I like it too. It smells delicious. Alrighty. Let's get our, our taters. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's... Mm. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's not a lot of moo. Corny. Fancy corn. 
Fancy corn? Yeah. Thought it was just corny corn. No, the fancy kind. Fancy kind? And potatoes. Oh my. We're eating in style tonight. Absolutely. I don't mess around. Okay, I'm just dancing around you. So am I. I'm really hungry, so. All that shopping. All that shopping made us so hungry. Oh yes. Oh, I'm gonna need a knife. It's already at the cocktail. At the co oh you. I knew there was a reason I married you. That, that's the reason? Yep. One of the many. This right here. Oh. Yep. I'm going to watch our show that we're watching. I would show you. Okay, I'm going to show you, but don't ruin it. Okay? Lock and key. If you guys want to watch this, check it out. It's been a really good series so far. Brand new series on Netflix. Just don't, uh, no spoilers, okay? That's why I don't tell you guys what books I'm reading right now because I know that the books I'm reading, you probably know how they end. <laughs> and I don't want spoilers in my comment section. So I'll tell you when I'm done. That's right, you heard me. I don't trust you. I don't trust you not to spoil it. <laughs> That's all right. So uh, we're back in the truck here. Uh, got all my stuff here. We're uh, coming at you live from the self-quarantine. Citizen of the apocalypse. What was that? Citizen Z? You can call me Citizen Z. <laughs> Citizen, they'll call me Citizen C. No, I, I don't have the virus. I don't. As far as I know, I guess we'll have to wait two weeks and find out. But I, I, I haven't traveled anywhere. I haven't even been to the U.S. since it's really broke out. And uh, I might still go on. I'm still trucking. Business as usual. As far as I know, nothing's changing. But uh, I'm sure you guys have been keeping up with what's going on in the world. Crazy times. Crazy times, huh? Crazy times. But I'm okay. I'm healthy. My family's all healthy. And we thank God for that. I hope you're healthy as well. And I'm going to be, uh, in the next couple of days, we'll be on the road. We'll be talking about my journey through this and what it's like being a truck driver through this pandemic. So far, I can tell you it hasn't been anything special or different. But you don't, you never know. This The next couple of weeks might get pretty interesting. And if you want to tag along and see what it's like... A lot of you are sitting at home doing nothing anyway, so you have no excuse not to watch some Trucker Josh vlogs, right? You got all the time in the world. I'd love it if you'd come hang out with us. I'll show you what it's like through my eyes and uh, what it's like being a truck driver on the highways during a global pandemic. Maybe it'll get exciting. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe one day they'll find these videos and... You know, the human race will be wiped out. Let's not even joke about that. No, no, it's not going to be that bad. It's not going to be that bad. It's going to be bad, but not that bad. Uh, if you are a senior citizen and watching this, uh, my special thoughts and prayers go out to you. Uh, you're the most vulnerable, and I'm sure you know that already. Uh, I'm not trying to scare you or add fear to your life or anything. I'm sure you'll be fine. Uh, but I do hope you got some relatives and friends who are bringing you what you need so that you can sort of quarantine yourself until all of this crazy coronavirus blows over. I really don't know how it's going to go. I was talking on a live stream today, like I'm a few days in the future here right now for you. And I was saying, like, how are we going to know when it's over? How do we know? They're going to have to wait until they get a vaccine, but the vaccine doesn't look like it's going to be ready for a long time yet. So even if it passes over and we think everything's good, we all go back to normal. But one person is still infected and they reinfect everybody again. We got another global pandemic. How do we know when it's over? I don't have the answer for that. I don't know if anybody does. If you do, let me know down below in the comment section. How long is this going to last? Nobody really knows. We're hoping it's only going to last like a couple of months. But we'll see. But you can tune in here to Trucker Josh Vlogs. Subscribe. 
and follow my life as I'm on the road here as a truck driver in North America going between Canada and the United States until they close the border and then across Canada through the uh, worst pandemic of my lifetime COVID-19 we'll see you tomorrow from the front lines I'm not really on the front lines. I can't take that title. I give the front lines. I yield the front line to our uh, amazing health workers and emergency responders and all of you guys who are actually working with the sick. Honestly, I uh, respect you guys so much and hope you stay safe. All right. We'll see you tomorrow, guys.